This topic is 1.1, solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, fractional forms with monomial numerators. So here you do need to do step one, which is to eliminate the fractions. So between the numbers 10 and four, we do have to find the lowest common um, denominator. Now, dun, dun, dun. I was seeing if maybe there was a way to do it on the computer, but I don't think there is. Nope. So the easiest way to find the common denominator is to take the larger number of your denominators and list its multiples. So for 10 times one is 10, 10 times two is 20, 10 times three is 30, 10 times four is 40, and so on and so forth. Then what you do is you find the first one that can be divided by four evenly. So 10 divided by four, that's a decimal, which means it does not go into 10 evenly. 20 divided by four, is an, a nice integer five. So this is the first number, the first multiple that four will go into. Therefore, this is going to be my LCD. So that is the number that I'm going to multiply to all three terms here. Now notice that I put the minus in front of my multiplication. It's important if you get into that habit now, okay? So here, 10 will go into 22 times, leaving me with two times seven U left. Here, I have 20 times three, which is 60. Here, four will go into 25 times, and I end up with five times three U. Now I do like to, instead of using the dot, because later on you might have more than just one term, it might be best to get into the habit of using parentheses instead of the dot. And I'll show you how to do that in the next example from the beginning, okay? So here I will get 14U, the minus 60 comes down, and here I will end up with 15U. Now I have successfully canceled out the denominators. I've also done step two, which is to get rid of the parentheses by multiplying. Step three is to combine like terms on each side. This is a variable term. This is not, so there's nothing to combine on the left. And on the right hand side, it's just one term, so again, nothing to combine on the right. Now step four is to move all of our variable terms to one side. So I'm going to minus 15u on both sides. And on the left-hand side, I get negative 1u minus 60. Here, these cancel, leaving me with 0. 15u minus 15u is 0. So I do need to write that 0 there. Then step 5 is to move the constants to the other side. So I'm going to add 60 to both sides. I get negative 1u equal to positive 60. And then the last step is to divide by that coefficient. So the negative ones cancel and I get u by itself equal to a negative six. And that is the end of that problem. Now, we're gonna do another one, but I'm gonna show you how, this time has three denominators. So I'm gonna show you how to find the common denominator when there's three denominators. And I'm gonna show you how to do this multiplying step using parentheses instead, which is what you're going, the strategy you're going to need to use moving forward. So for the LCD, I have two, six, and 12 as my denominators. 12 is the largest one. So I'm gonna list multiples of 12. 12 times one, 12 times two, 12 times three, 12 times four, so on and so forth. Sometimes you have to keep going, sometimes this is enough. All you need to do is find the first one, the first multiple that both of these numbers go into. 2 does happen, happen to go into 12 evenly, and 6 also happens to go into 12 evenly. If you're not sure, just verify. 12 divided by 2, it's a nice number. 12 divided by 6, it's a nice number. So, so 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 12 times x over 2 in parentheses, put my plus, then 12 times 5x over 6 in parentheses equal to 12 times x over 12. Now remember the purpose of multiplying by the LCD. It is to eliminate the fractions. So please do in fact eliminate those fractions. Reduce the two with the 12, you get six. Reduce the six with the 12, you get two. Reduce 12 with 12 and you get one. Then if we wanna eliminate this fra these parentheses, which is step two, um, you just multiply. So six times x is six x. 2 times 5x is 10x, and 1 times x is 1x. Now step 3 is to combine like terms on each side. These are like terms, so I get 16x. There's only one term on this side, so I'm just rewriting it. And then finally, we need to move the variable terms to one side, so I'm going to move this to the left. I get 15x equal to 1x minus 1x is nothing, nothing left, so I do have to write the zero. Then the last step is to divide by the coefficient. So when I divide by the coefficient, I get x equals, and zero divided by 15 is zero. So my answer here in this case is zero.